In the last election, voters overwhelmingly approved providing medical marijuana to sick and dying patients. Almost 50,000 patients are now in the state's medical marijuana user database. Target A senior investigator Steve Andrews found the state is issuing these ID cards necessary to buy the medication at what you might call a snail's pace. And I guess a lot of people want to know, why? Why well, this delay? Not enough bodies is one reason. For most of this year, only a few full-time employees staffed the Office of Medical Marijuana Use. They were tasked with processing tens of thousands of ID card applications. Now, the man who spearheaded making medical marijuana available to more patients lays the blame on the governor and his dysfunctional government. What degree of pain am I going to tolerate today? Janice Michelski has lived in significant pain for 20 years since doctors removed a tumor from her cervical spine. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Janice waited two months for the state to process her medical marijuana user ID card. The patients are the ones that are suffering. According to Dr. Laura Brown, thousands of sick and dying patients in Florida applied and are waiting for marijuana use ID cards. The bottleneck is at Florida's Office of Medical Marijuana Use, the office charged with writing and implementing rules for medical marijuana. We have patients with cancer, we have patients with, you know, long-time serious chronic diseases that are desperate to start this new therapy, and it's unfortunate that they're having to wait. Patients claim the wait is two to three months, a little different than what the director of the Office of Medical Marijuana Use, Christian Bax, told lawmakers at a recent hearing. From the time we receive your application, it's 30 days. And if that guy worked for me, I'd fire him. Attorney John Morgan spearheaded legalizing medical marijuana in Florida. Well, in private business, if you had a backlog like this, you'd work at night, you would open up on Saturday, you'd open up on Sunday, you'd get it done. According to Christian Bax, there are reasons for delays. The state encourages patients to fill out applications online, but it doesn't accept online payments. Patients must send a check. The Department of Health can't mass produce ID cards. And until October, the Office of Medical Marijuana Use had as few as three full time employees. If Rick Scott wants to fire him, I'll go up there for free and I'll bring a whole team of people in. It won't be eight people, it'll be 30 people, and I'll have the cards all handed out within 14 days. According to John Morgan, the ID card delay pushes patients to opioids. Being on the opioids right now, the only way is to go up to keep the pain away. That lines the pockets of pharmaceutical companies which contribute heavily to political campaigns. John Morgan blames Governor Scott for tolerating the delay. How long do you think he would have ever made people wait for the pharmacy at one of his four private hospitals. You think it would have been 90 days? This is why people despise politicians, because despite of 71% of Florida, the politicians have said, we didn't hear you and you're gonna get it when we're good and ready. Hmm. Now, both Dr. Brown and John Morgan agree denying patients access to this therapy forces them to either go buy it illegally and break the law or go get opioids. Several patients I've spoken to say it's taken close to three months to get their ID cards. Janice Michelski got her ID card October 20th, eight weeks after she applied for it. It's That's supposed to be long, 30 days. It's supposed to be 30 days. I yeah. mean, John Morgan talking tough, saying he can do this in a couple of weeks. Sure. And, you sure. know, I mean, that's bold. But, I mean, this 30-day application process, the, the state's saying, well, we'll do it within 30 days, which is a while. But how many are taking longer than that? that that's a question I asked, and Florida's Department of Health, which runs the Office of Medical Marijuana Use, doesn't keep track of how many applications took longer than 30 days to process, nor would it provide anyone to speak about this on camera? Now, I did call the governor's office for a response about John Morgan's accusation that it's a dysfunctional government. Right. And the governor's office referred me to DOH, which, of course, didn't provide anybody to speak to us to begin with. Mm -hmm. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a story we're going to continue to follow. There's Absolutely. no question about it. There's sure. more to come on this one. And if you have a problem that you want Steve to investigate, he can help you out here. Just call him at his Target 8 helpline number. It's on your screen right there, 1-800-338-0808.